right. Um, so yeah, we can change the paddle size. It's a little bit more complicated than uh, changing the speed. You can see the speed was easy. Um, but yeah, uh, let's, uh, let's try that. So before we make it dynamic, let's let's make it. Um, uh, what I'll do, I'll come up to the the paddle paddle variables here, and I'll add another variable here. And we'll call this yeah paddle size with capital S. Um, so now wherever we talk about the uh, the size of the paddle, uh, we're gonna want to we're gonna want to use this in that some we're gonna want to use this variable somewhere in in that line. So we probably talk about the size of the paddle a lot in our code here. Uh, wherever we do uh, paddle texture, I guess it's paddle texture dot y is what we're looking for. Or dot height. Yeah. Okay. Paddle texture dot height. So we'll multiply that by paddle. What did I get? Paddle size. Yeah. Okay. Um, and this is inside our collision. Yeah, this is inside our collision. So every time we find and it's going to be upset there because we're combining floats and ints. So we'll cast this into an, the result of this into an int. Um, so in programming, we've got all these different variable types. We've got, um, like if I, if I gave you the number, 3.5 and told you that you had to express that as a whole number you really couldn't do it right the best you could do was just truncate it and make it just i guess say three and so whenever we uh whenever we do something like that um we have to tell the compiler have to tell the code that that is exactly what we're trying to do because it's saying you know if if you're gonna say 3.5 here i'm gonna make that three and so we're add, adding int here uh, tells the, the code that, like, yeah, we understand that you're going to change 3.5 to 3, and we're cool with that. And that's what we want to do there. So for the next guy, some people in chat are very, very distraught that Blue lost, though. Just saying. Yeah. C5 wants a rematch. So does Mrs. Fett. Yeah. <laughs> well, we can do something like that every show. We won't do Pong every show, but we'll have uh, some sort of game going on every show. Some oh, sort definitely. Of scenario. <laughs> we have a lot of retweets now. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's good. Keeping track of all you guys. <laughs> All right, inside our draw, we have to draw the paddles to be, um, that wasn't the draw we were looking for. We have to draw the paddles to be the size that they, they're supposed to be now. There is a question for you in the chat, um, Carrie, whenever you get the chance. I can ask it to you, but it might take away from your coding right now. <laughs> yeah, I just uh, have to change the way that the paddles draw in order to make this happen. And we're making them get smaller every time they get hit, right? Yeah. Okay. And again, if you guys are just joining us, you're watching the first episode of Community Game Development on the Fragdolls Twitch.tv channel. I have Carrie uh, Redcoat Kez, uh, one of our community members and awesome game developer, 
who works at EA. He's here developing games and helping explain what in the world is going on when you look at game code and, and how you can mess with it and stuff like that. And uh, if you guys want to join in, just jump in the chat. Tell us what you guys want to see us change. You can also go to our website, www.comgamedev.com. I will put that in chat for you guys. Go there, check us out, check out the source code. You can follow right along with us and code with us. Join our forums, all sorts of stuff like that. Right now we're messing with the game Pong. So I really butchered this line up. Uh, before we just needed a position uh, to draw the paddle. Uh, now we need a, a, a bit more. Go There's a bit more going on there now because we have to draw the paddle at its new size. Um, and we'll do the same for the right paddle. I'm just going to copy and paste. Copying and pasting is generally a bad thing in code, but it's uh, it's quicker for me to do this right now. Um, why doesn't it like that? Okay, so I give it the destination rectangle. I probably copied and pasted wrong. So there we go. That's why you shouldn't copy and paste. <laughs> um. Sorry, just to interject really quickly again. On our forums, I think we should have um, a forum thread where people can just post what kind of games they want to code in the future. Does that sound like a good idea, Carrie? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So I know some we, people in chat are already saying games, and I'm going to try and write them down. But what were we going to say? We have a, a, a suggestions uh, thread on our, our suggestions forum inside our forums um, that they can post that. They can say what games they want to see us work on next. Um, um, yeah, we'll totally do that. So inside this new rectangle, this is where the problem is. We'll just type it all out. Because, yeah, we'd love to hear from you guys and take the show in the direction that you guys want it to go in. Because this is all of us working on this. Oh, definitely. Definitely. OK, I just need to make sure I write down people's questions for you, Gary, because they're asking questions. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of code that you're writing. <laughs> uh, OK, so I'm just trying to figure out uh, what it doesn't like here. Uh, it probably doesn't like that guy there, because we're already giving it a scale. Oh, there it goes. So um, now when we hit it, it yeah, well, it shouldn't actually change size yet. It's, uh, I've written all the code to make it accept the size, but I haven't actually changed the size on it. Um, so what we can do is do when when we hit the ball, we do actions here. We do paddle size is equal zero point nine five f. So now the paddles are going to get slightly smaller every time they hit the ball. And hopefully that, that's everything we need. If it's not, I'll see what it is. Yeah, you can see. Did you see it? Has the ball hit it? it no, nope, I. It? Can you see okay. them get smaller? I can, it's... yeah. They definitely get smaller every time. I don't know if you guys can see it in chat, but I can see them get smaller. Yeah, and the ball is getting quicker still as well. <laughs> oh snap! That's gonna make for a really hard game. Why did the 
Well, I'll just go the other way. That was interesting. You know, I didn't even see that, actually. Although I might be getting a little bit of lag. See, I don't know why the ball is bouncing wrong now. It's something I did, probably. But, eh. Because <laughs> I could leave the two paddles here forever. That ball's going pretty crazy fast now, and the paddles are getting smaller and smaller. Oh, jeez. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Finally, too hard. I could too reset. Hard. I didn't actually reset them where we reset the ball. Um, so now they, they stay that small forever and ever and ever. Oh. <laughs> and they still get smaller every time. <laughs> Crazy. So there are a few questions for you. Um, but I know B Crumbs a little while ago asked something about floats over doubles. Do you prefer floats or float versus uh, doubles in terms of a variable? Uh, it really depends on the variable. I, it's very rare that I use doubles. Um, the difference between a float and a double is um, it's based on how much room in, in the computer's memory that uh, gets taken up. Um, so uh, what happens is uh, a, a double is, um, Double is eight bytes, I believe, and a float is four bytes. So we have the extra precision. Uh, we we have a. It's it's like if you can represent a number, but you only have so many digits to represent it. We have more digits inside a double. Um, but I find that generally a float gives me as many as much as much precision as I need. So I I really don't use doubles much. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. And I don't want to mispronounce this. El Torgrand in chat said uh would you like to they would like to know what library you use other than native microsoft um this is pretty much all microsoft stuff here this is uh c sharp and xna um there's nothing here that that doesn't fall under uh c sharp xna um do you use anything differently though oh Just yeah for uh, your personal yeah i i, I know all uh, a bunch of different languages i do c plus plus um I know a lot of action scripts as well. Um, on a day-to-day -day basis at work, my day job, I do a lot of action script coding. Um, I've done work in Unreal Script before, um, which is a, a scripting language, but it's syntactically very similar to to C. It, like if you were to read uh, read some code in C plus plus and read some code in Unreal Script, very similar. Um, what goes on under the hood is very different, of course. Um, so uh yeah um but but for this all we're doing is just straight up c sharp with some xna awesome awesome so we have about 14 minutes left um i don't know if we want to code some more if you guys have any ideas um we did focus on making the game a little bit more difficult as we went um and things like that we also Carrie, you and I forgot to talk about this before we started the stream, but we had to figure out what challenge we're going to give to the community to uh, to do based on the the source code. So that's something else to keep in mind uh, before we before we end the stream in a couple of minutes. Um, but is there anything that you guys have questions on? Is there something that we talked about today that still doesn't make sense to you? Um, you know, things like that. Leave us a, a comment. Let us know if there's something that you liked today about the show, let us know. You can put it in chat right now and I'll grab it, or you can go onto our forums and go to uh, suggestions and leave us a comment there. Um, conversely, anything that you didn't like about the show, you know, aside from Blue losing our AI Pong game, I know some of you guys are super upset about that, but you're just going to have to let it go. Red was just so super powered. So anything like that, please. Uh, type in chat. Let us know what you guys uh, what you guys think. If there's anything else you want to see us code right now, let us know. We'll code it. Things like that. Unless it's like super crazy. Because we need to save some cool things for later on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> C5 says the community should make a four-player Pong. Which I personally like as well. I think that's great. And you should theme it around something too. Whatever it is that you want to theme it around. But you should change yeah. the art in it. And you should make... I think they should make four-player Pong, but Carrie, I don't, I don't know how you feel about that. No, I think four-player Pong would be pretty good. Um, just looking through the code that we've worked with today, um, you could 
pretty easily modify this to make four player pong and especially if we leave four players kind of ambiguous like how they're going to do it like there's so many different ways you could do four player pong um so yeah however you want to do it and are we going to are we going to save the code that you have modified during this show, save it and put it on as well. So we have the basic source code and this code that they can work with. Awesome. Yeah. So if you guys got lost when we were changing around some of the, the stuff when we added multiple balls or things like that, you know, you can go through Carrie's modified code based on today's episode and look through that and kind of get a feel for, for what, what we changed exactly. Um, so the show is going to be on uh, once a month. Um, and that's another thing that Carrie, you and I did not talk about before we, uh, before we went live on the show, but we, it'll happen sometime probably three or four weeks from today. I would say like every calendar month we'll have another episode. So probably at the end of May, we will have another episode and then maybe again at the end of June and things like that. Um, but it'll always be on a Sunday unless for some reason you guys don't like it being on a Sunday, but we figure it's a it's a day, it's a night, you know, where people are maybe at home and they're just relaxing before work starts or school starts. So we thought this would be a, a good time to do it. So it'll be Sundays, um, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern, and it'll be for approximately two hours every time, unless we have maybe a special guest and they want to be on for an hour or four hours, you know, what have you. We'll, we'll have them on. Yeah. But, uh unless Carrie thinks differently about when we should have it, but I think it's going to be every at the end of every month. But we will post it on our website, and we will let you know. We'll tweet it about it, you know, and I'll have the frag dolls. We'll post stuff on our on our page, and so if you follow any of us, you guys will hopefully be in the know. <laughs> cool. Uh, so, um, so we need to uh, come up with some challenges, right? Well, we've got the... Um, the four player, right? Is that that's what we're gonna do? I I really like that idea. I think um yeah, just make it four players. And I think that they should be able to use their creativity in that. If they don't I mean you don't have to have two standard paddles here and then two paddles here. You know, you could do the the corners if you wanted, or you know, however you want to do it. I, I think that you guys should have your own I don't know, creative whatever do whatever you know but four players i think that's awesome carrie is there anything else that you'd like to tack on to that um no i think that'd be cool four players um just trying to figure out um you know maybe if maybe it could be doubles i i don't know um yeah there's 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 actually a lot of things like when you think four players you you want to automatically think four paddles but maybe you could be more creative than that like two players control one paddle or i, I don't know Ooh. That would be hard. Yeah. That would be hard. But yeah, so when we post the challenge, we'll actually post that in there where we can say four players, but if you guys want to make it, you know, doubles, teams, then go for it. Or if you want two people to control one paddle. Um, Three tiny paddles versus one large paddle. Uh, Three tiny paddles versus one large paddle. I like it. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. But I, I want you guys to be creative and, you know, try different things, try things that you know, are crazy. Um, and if you have any issues, go on our forums, tweet at us, you know, let us know and, and we'll help you guys. Two middle troll paddles. OMG. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's hilarious. Are you seeing the chat now, Carrie? Yeah, I'm seeing the chat now. Yeah. Oh, tag team pong. C5, you come up with so many great ideas. Theme yeah. can be Griff Ball, make the ball bomb from Halo, and you can use the paddles be grab hammer. Okay, that gamer racks. If you don't make that kind of pong, I'm gonna be so mad at you. That's a great idea, and you've already done the artwork, and you can get the code, and it's so easy to just implement your your artwork into that. You should totally do it. Yeah. You should totally do it. Yeah, you guys are. You got some really good ideas. Uh, so yeah, can't wait to see what you guys come up with. We'll uh, we'll show them off at the beginning of the next show, right? Yeah, if you guys email it to us, email comgamedev.com. Um, and if you go on our website and you hit submit content, it'll also direct you to that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's actually comgamedev at gmail.com. Uh, it'll, it'll direct you to that email address. 
email it to us and we will showcase it at the beginning of the next episode because we want to show how awesome you guys are. So totally send your stuff to us. Yeah. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to answer well ask them on the forum and I'll I'll be there and uh help you guys out or if there's any people that are really interested in programming that that have uh, done some programming before and um, feel free to take uh take some of the questions yourself uh we really want to make this a community thing we want everyone to learn a lot and everyone to make some awesome stuff definitely definitely so if there aren't any more questions did we cover everything uh did we want to do a, a theme based challenge as well like an art Nazi challenge or are we just gonna no you know what I think I think that's right I think we should we should do one that's coding based and one that's art based so okay the code challenge is to make four player pong but if you don't want to mess with the code necessarily in that way but you you are interested in art and you want to mess with the art um, you can take our existing source code and then just change you know upload your PNGs and incorporate them into the code um, and that should be easy but we'll theme it what do you want to theme it around um, I think we should just throw it out in frag dolls because they'd be nice enough to offer us their channel. So, um, yeah. frag dolls pong, that is the art challenge. <laughs> frag dolls pong, I love it. Yes, love it. That's awesome. <laughs> if you're interested in the art, you could actually submit the same game to both of them if you want. <laughs> Four player frag doll pong. And we'll say frag dolls in general. Like, try to incorporate um, mm -hmm. all of us. <laughs> yeah, we already have saber pong. So we already have saber pong. So now we need all the other pongs. <laughs> you know. And if you guys are really, if you guys want to do a, like a super awesome challenge that's like a mix of the two, maybe you guys can come up with something where um, you have frag dolls themed pong. But the paddles are each different frag dolls, and you can select the paddle that you want to use in the game. I don't know if that's too advanced for code. I, I don't know. I'm not a coder or a developer, but just saying, I think that's an awesome challenge. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I'm going to have time to do it myself over over the next month. So, uh, yeah, work's going to be pretty busy, and uh, we've got to put together the next month's content. But uh, I kind of want to make Frag Doll Pong. <laughs> Full player Frag Doll Pong. Yes. 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 It's so awesome. It's so awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. All right. Well, okay. So those are the challenges. Make four player Pong or make Frag Dolls theme Pong or make both or make some variation of those things. That is our challenge to you guys. And if you need any help, go on the forums. Let us know. Carrie will be there like 24-7 helping people out. I know it. Um, and then follow us on at comgamedev. That is our Twitter account. Um, and then at the very bottom of the screen right now, you can see uh, Carrie's um, Twitter account as well as mine. So follow us too if you have any questions you want to ask us. Go ahead and, and ask it there. Follow this stream because this is where we're going to be having our shows uh, for the immediate future. So follow Fragdolls. And I think that's it. This has been a really successful first episode, and we just want to thank you guys so much. This is great, and I really hope you guys enjoy it. And if you don't, tell us what you don't like, and we will fix it. Yeah, thanks a lot for coming out, guys. It's been uh, been a lot of fun. <laughs> yes, you guys are awesome. Okay, we'll see you uh, next month for the show, and stay tuned. <laughs>